Amazon itself currently sells 12 million products. But with all the Amazon sellers, there are 350 million items for sale at any given moment. Every one of these items has had to be created, has to be stored, and has to be shipped every time it's made. Now let's compare that to a slightly different model. Right now, there are 21 million or more 3D models available on the internet. Almost all of these models could be 3D printed at any moment and brought into existence, made a reality and delivered to a customer. But until that happens, none of them actually exist at all. These models are the apps of the physical world. They are the embodiments of solutions and entertainment that can be brought into reality from nothing. Amazon has football fields of warehouses storing product, but all of the 3D printed products in the world can be stored on a small server. This is a fantastic advantage because these designs are available for anyone to use right now, but they are bottlenecked by the fact that a person has to know how to use a 3D printer. A 3D printer that can break and is difficult to use and has a reasonable amount of complication associated with it. It is a skill, it is a tool. It's like saying, oh, anybody can buy a bandsaw, but not everybody is going to make their own furniture. This is why at Slant3D we're focusing so heavily on things like our API or our Etsy plugin, so that anyone can get access to all of these fantastic products that creators are making without having to worry about the logistics of how they come together or how they're delivered. We're able to use giant print farms to enable the designers of all of these models to distribute them to normal people so that walled garden no longer exists. We are in a really unique situation right now in the 3D printing world. It's like we have the apps, but we don't yet have the iPhone that everyone can use. The apps are growing quickly, almost exponentially, but the iPhones haven't quite caught up, nor should they because the iPhone is like a terminal learning how to program. But right now, if we were to turn loose all of the 3D models, all of the digital apps for physical reality, they would be larger than the current iTunes store. There are only 2 million apps in the world, but there are 21 plus million 3D models in the world. This is really exciting because there is all this opportunity to really make a big impact on how the world works. You don't need warehouses anymore. Nothing needs to exist until somebody actually wants it. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can work really hard to make that a reality by deploying giant print farms that anyone can access and making that access easier and more invisible. A road is invisible when you're using it, but it really sucks when it's not there. We're trying to build a road. Have a great day, everybody.